guys so i'm actually i'm being quite quiet today um just because i'm fil filming this quite late and i think everyone's pretty much asleep but i'm just gonna film a little what i got in london i got quite a bit i think i don't usually like do massive hauls it's usually just over time i get like stuff okay so we're gonna start off with other outfits so i, I actually i actually have two bags for the oven but i didn't get that much stuff but for some reason she gave me two bags so so i got these green joggers you know just the classic i don't know if i'm saying this right yes franz yes franz it's franz something french joggers i got these in green so these ones were actually on sale so these were 29 pounds um on sale which isn't bad um they're a smaller size they're an extra small i was gonna get a small but obviously because they're in the sale i was like well it's one time thing but yeah they are so cute i kind of wish they were a little bit bigger um just for that like proper oversized fit um but yeah i like the low waisted and i like the little orange detail here i'm kind of tempted to get the like matching hoodie for it but yeah i also got some of the ears Brands joggers in blue i got these in a bigger size because these weren't on sale these were just normal price so these were 42 pounds and they're small um because i really wasn't sure what size to go because i'm quite sure so i wanted them oversized but i didn't want them to be just generally too big for me i got some i got some more just to be on the safer side because it's 42 pounds and i was like i do not want to be wasting nearly 50 quid um and get ones that don't fit me also because there's no urban outfits near me so like i wouldn't even be able to return them and these are the blue ones and they are literally they are so perfect i love them so much like they are so comfy that they've got like a comfortable like oversized um they're kind of wrinkly because i've just like they've been in the bag for a while um but yeah again a little orange detail and the low waisted fit i think they're so cute i love them so much um and they go with any color like pretty much as well which is really nice these are them in the other lighting very nicely oversized um I, I was kind of tempted to get the matching hoodie but they, these ones go with more range like i could wear it with gray black like and not like another shade of blue like they just work with more um and so i think like if i was to get one of the hoodies it would be the green one uh and then literally lastly from urban outfitters i got just a simple little crop vest and um, this was literally 10 pounds uh it's a size medium because they're quite small like it's quite a small top um but yeah but it's 10 pounds which was a steal and then i also used my student discount um so i got money off there um okay so this is the urban outfit's top i'm not wearing the right bra so you can see the straps but it fits really well it's so soft so comfy um yeah it's really cute i really like it i love the little um what's it called lettuce hem down at the bottom here yeah it's so stretchy so comfy it's just the perfect crop top and it was only 10 pounds it's literally like the perfect crop top okay and then a bit off brand for me but um we went into primark and got a couple things there because i haven't been in a primark in like maybe even two years like it, it ages um so starting off i got this cushion cover because because so i got this one ages ago from primark and i mean as you can see it's got a stain on it like it's quite it needs cleaning but i literally have nothing else to like change it with um so i thought i might get that this to match my green walls and my my kind of greeny red theme going on in the room um so yeah well this is like the bad side of my room but here is the best lighting so 
unfortunately you don't get to see the cool side of my room unless you're on my Instagram. So I guess you have to go follow my Instagram if you want to see that. Anyway, back on task. Um, so yeah, so I got that. And then I'm going to France for in this summer, which exciting. I hope hopefully gonna be vlogging some of it. Um, so that might be on the channel this summer. Um, but yeah, but I literally have no bikinis or anything. I have about two bikinis, I think. So I need a new bikini. So I got this one, which should hopefully fit me all right. It's just like a cute, like vibrant um, floral print. But yeah, but I thought it was really nice and it was quite cheap because obviously it's Primark. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to wear this. I'm excited for summer. I got this plant, this fake plant, because I could not be trusted with real plants. Um, so yeah, I got this fake plant, which is quite, like, it It was cheap. And you, you can tell, <laughs> um, like, <laughs> but... It's because I have this and I'm gonna I put it in there like that and then in the corner it looks quite nice because I've already had it up for a couple of days now um and it looks quite nice so it it looks kind of odd like when as I'm just holding it but I swear it does look okay um when I'm actually like putting it together I got some blush because my blush had broken and I've had it for so long anyway. So that's now gonna be my backup blush. Blah, 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 blush. So I actually went in the Gymshark for the first time. I didn't, honestly, I don't know why, but I thought they were just online. So yeah, went in the Gymshark. Uh, everything was so expensive. I couldn't afford it because I just spent all my money in Urban. So I simply couldn't afford it, but I needed a new water bottle. So yeah, so I got this, um, just like basic. Jimmy Shark one, I mean, as you can see, I'm already using it. Um, I needed it for college because I do theatre, and so, like, I need a big bottle that will get me through a long day. And it's got a cute little thing. It's just, like, your basic Jim Shark bottle. I feel like it's one of the, like, basically starter versions, I can't even lie. Um, but it was, like, £9, £8. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, and then... There was another bag. And then we went to Victoria's Secret. Um, I actually went in there because I'm looking for like this, like a, like a red halter neck. Um, but they only had one, not even, not halter neck option. It was like a tube top, which was really nice. Um, but it was 40 quid. And again, I had spent, two, I was on a budget. Um, so I was like, I can't. Um, but I did get this scrub from the pink Victoria's Secret um section and it, oh my god they had so many they had like mango honey coconut strawberries like there was so many and like I picked up so many and I put them all back and I was like I don't know why which one um but I settled on coconut and it literally oh it smells so good it literally smells so good. I'm so excited to use this. Okay, and then also just the just there's a bag. Um, I've just got it in this bag, but it wasn't from Victoria's Secret. Um, so I went to Brandy Melville, and I got scared <laughs> because I've never been in a Brandy Melville before this experience. I'm not really a Brandy girl to be honest. I mean, I like their stuff, and and I think I've got I might have something off of Vinted like that I got brandy maybe I can't remember um but yeah it was my first like experience in there and I can't even lie the clothes were cute the jewelry was really cute you know I loved it all but oh my god like the people in there like it was so busy it was so busy I felt so claustrophobic and the girls in there like the shoppers just seemed so judgmental like I, I literally walked in I could see girls like looking each other up and down and stuff and I was like right don't like this whereas like in other shops like everyone's like oh you look great or like you know everyone's smiling at each other and being like oh sorry if you bump into them but they, it was like a competition like it was like war in Brandy Melville um and they also had no price tags on anything which as I've said already I was on a budget and it stressed me out because I was like 
what do I do? Like, how am I meant to go around and actually look at stuff when I can't even consider the price? And I was so scared of the fact that I was going to, like, get to the till and end up spending, like, 70 quid on, like, two things because I didn't know their prices. And I'm not a brandy girl, like I've said. So, like, I don't even know what an estimate was. Um, I asked my friend and she said that they were about £12 for a top. And I was like, I should have got a top or something. But, um, yeah, that was my experience in Brandy. But I did get something. So, in a cute little bag, I got, I got this. How cute. So I got two of these um, to be matching with my mum. Because it's her birthday. So yeah, so I got these. Um, which is the cutest thing ever. I love it. I love it so much. It's just a small little, like... Like, you can wear it with anything, pretty much. Like, I think it's just a really cute little thing. That it's not, like... It's not overdoing it, you know? It's just... Cute. And as a silver girl, like, as like, I wear silver jewellery mostly. I think I can pull off both, but I mostly wear silver. There is not a lot of, like, cute options. And Brandy has so many options of, like, cute silver jewellery. Like, equally to the gold. And I loved it because we don't usually get very cute jewellery. Um, that isn't, like, really basic. And so, yeah. So that was really nice. And I would have definitely, now I know, I would definitely go back and buy more. Because. They weren't that expensive actually. It was just the fact that usually if it doesn't have a price tag, it's too expensive. I went into Oliver Thurna. Oh oh no, I dropped it. So I got a couple things there. Um this was actually in the train station and we were about to get our train and my friend was calling me from the outside going, Kira, quick. And I can't even like they were taking their time. But I got these, so these are cute little earrings, and they're just like, they're little hearts go through, oh I've got earrings in, um, but yeah, and they're like infinity hoops, and I, oh my god, they are so cute, they're so cute, just some little hearts, and so I got them for myself, and then, my mum, for her birthday, I got these, so quite similar, slightly different they're thicker and they're, they've got like a twisty like twisty like a twisted like pattern on it um but yeah they're very cute and then i went into benefit and i got i treated myself to a mini highlighter and i know it's like oh treated like it's not this was 15 pounds um it's really good so far my experience with it has been really good um, it's good quality, it's good makeup, you pay for what you get. Um, but yeah, but as a 17 year old, £15 is quite a lot for makeup. For me anyway. And it's got a cute little laughter is the best cosmetic, which I think is really nice. And the workers in there were so lovely. The workers, um, one of them, I had a nice a nice guy, um, I had a nice chat with him. He complimented me for my outfit. He was really sweet. Um, so yeah, and they were really helpful. So I really liked it in there. That was a good experience, a benefit. First experience, good experience. Okay, and then H&M. So uh, the H&M from where I am was, is such a completely different vibe to the one in London. Like the one in London was very like minimalistic. It was like chic. Um, There was a lot of like, what is it? Like clean girl aesthetic. So it was like blazers and stuff. It was very like, minimalistic whereas the one where i am from which i'm not going to be saying um it's quite like like there's sections of that but it's very like divided like you'll have all of that minimalistic things and then it's like vibrant colors like trends that are like very quite for like for for young like teenagers and stuff um but not in a kid section like just quite like edgy colorful things which i am more i i always I browse through the minimalistic and then like go to that section. There wasn't a lot of that really um in this London one, which I was a little bit disappointed because that's just what I like. Um maybe it was just that one store that we went to though, I don't know. But we did find this cute little top which I need to try on. Um but it's like a navy blue tank and it's this pattern. 
which I love. Um, so yeah, so that's really cute. That was a tenner, which isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, I can I I cannot wait to wear that in the summer. I think it'd be really cute. I okay, so I've just changed into these low waisted jeans just to show off this top and the cut because it is literally the perfect little top. Like it shows the like it's the right length for like low waisted jeans and things. It fits really nice and tight in the um waist. Like it's so nice. It's so nice. Um I love the little details and I mean you can't really see um the what is it called? Like pattern in the top in this lighting anyway. But I mean you can close up and yeah and it's really cute. Last thing I bought was a Heather's program, which was ten pounds. Um, but that's not really shopping. That's part of the theatre, and obviously all the food and things. I mean, everything I have got, I think, is some is stuff that I've wanted, um, for a while or I've needed. So I think it was a pretty successful shop. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Go watch my London vlog if you haven't already. Go watch it. Uh, these are all my socials here so go add me follow me on these to get more of my content and uh, content and to see a little bit more into my life but thank you for watching bye <laughs>